Licia Banks, I believe it is. Licia Banks asks, let me get that right. Oh, um, I believe it's Flying Peacock that asks, or maybe it's Licia Wilbanks asks, how do you manage performing exceptionally personal songs from your past so often? Um, that's a good question. It is, it's weird to try to relive some past event on stage. However, the songs, by the time we are playing them live, tend to have become little worlds in, in and of themselves. Um, every once in a while, you find yourself slipping into the place where the song was actually written. Um, but mostly, uh, there's a sort of present tense to them. Um, the emotions that they that they encapsulate are um, are alive in the present. Does that make sense? Uh, that 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 um, the no, it does not make any sense. I'm sorry. Um, if you're right, if if there's if a song is about um, someone you had a relationship with, it's very unlikely that your feelings about that person are still the same at all. So the 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 song no longer really refers to that person. It refers to you at that time. And um, they become a little bit more global. Uh, I hope that I hope that gets you closer. It's sort of like someone else is singing it. Nope, that part's not true. Uh, what does it actually feel like? Yeah, I think the I think the closest answer is that it 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 you remember yourself during that time um, more than you remember the person to whom you were writing. Um, the and then the song itself uh, takes on a new life. That 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 song became a way of of venting or excising those feelings or exercising those feelings and so um it stops being it's sometimes a song sometimes especially a, a negative song like a song that has sadness or darkness or complaint in it winds up being a sort of celebration of you not having that darkness anymore does it hopefully that helps pretty vague sorry <laughs> 